Hi everybody, this is Paige, and I'm here inside my Facebook Spaces world, which will soon be transformed into Facebook Horizon, and Better World Museum, of course, will have a museum space inside of Facebook Horizon. But today, we're going to start to close out this account. And in order to do so, I wanted to look at some of the things in which I've drawn in the past. I have a gigantic library, and I'm only going to pull up one or two things at a time because I don't want it to crash, okay? So, first I'm going to go to my library, and I'm going to pull up a few things. And we've seen some of these things, so I'll go to some oldies but goodies. This is a red bird. I really love this red bird. I'm going to share it with you. And clear it. I love that red bird. And now it's a 3D object in my friend's feed. Let's, let's go to another one. Super exciting. Mm. Oh yes, a rainy cloud. I love rainy clouds. This one even has a drip. This one, this one I've shared before. I'm pretty sure actually I've shared all of these. Um, I think I'll share them again. And clear. Oof. This is the last time we will see them ever in Facebook Spaces. So it's pretty exciting. But let's see some more. Aww. Bees. You know how I love bees. I've told many stories about them and about how I've was caught in a swarm of bees in northern New Mexico. I had pinyon pitch on my ears and wrists and knees, and all of a sudden there were millions of maybe African bees swarming all around me. It made the sky dark, and the ground was just covered in bees, and I was terrified. In fact, I did, really didn't want to die. I was terrified of dying. So I pretended I was a rabbit and I started hopping over sagebrush because I didn't want to accidentally step on too many bees as I ran away. And I didn't want to run. So I figured if I was a rabbit, bees wouldn't attack me. So thank you, bees. Thanks for not stinging me when I was in a swarm of bees. I'm going to share you with friends on Facebook, and then I'm gonna clear you. And that that's one of my stories on Facebook Spaces. All right, let's look at some more. Where are all the ones that I've drawn? Let's see. Here's a rainbow. Rainbows are always great. Rainbows connect people around the world. And we need um, really beautiful, diverse rainbows. Let's see. What else? Oh, here's a tornado. Tornadoes are really awesome because they um, come at you and then you have to protect yourself and survive it. And then you weathered the storm and you are more resilient. So luckily it always turns out that way. Here's our... Tornado coming at us. Hopefully we're able to always weather the storm. Oh, 
there's another bird. I love these birds. I'm going to share this one with you. Mwah! Cute bird. Oh my gosh. This one I'll just kind of keep. Let's see what else. Ooh. This is water in a palm tree. Ooh, I like this. I like this idea. Water in a palm tree. Somewhere beautiful and warm. Let's share this one. Oh, yes. More of this, please. You'll see more things like this at Better World Museum on the horizon. Oh, pretty tulips. Flowers. Flowers for everyone in the world. Clear. What else have I drawn? More rain. More rainy clouds. Always nice to have. Important. Share and clear. Ah, tree. Tree of life. Trees give everybody hope and inspiration. And did you know that trees talk to each other through their tree roots? And they connect. And they take really good care of each other. Trees are really important um, members of the world and should be protected much, much more so than they are. Share with friends and clear. Ah, snowflake. Soon it will be winter. And hopefully our community will do a better job this year, taking care of all of our community members in shelters and out in homes and adrift. So let's take better care of each other. Make, make everybody... Um, be able to share their individual voices and find support and have the ability to stay warm and protect each other. So, I really love snowflakes. This one represents me. Share with friends and clear. Let's see if there's any more to share. I know I've drawn hundreds, but they're not all here. Here's some fire. It's hot. Hot in here. Hot fire. Clear. Okay, I think other ones that I've drawn were in, um, were actually just on a different computer. So I have them already saved on a different file. And those are actually A-OK. -okay. I've got those. So now I'm going to save all these drawings as exports. And then all of these fantastic 3D objects that I just shared with you will be able to be turned into really cool things like augmented reality and um, 3D printed objects and brought in to other um, programs and animated and maybe even brought back in to 
maybe even brought back into I guess that's kind of like the little rabbit the little rabbit came back I'm now a little rabbit oh my gosh that's amazing maybe I should draw one as my last drawing here in Facebook spaces today pretty soon on October 25th this program will go away and I know I'll, I'll pop in here before then but today let's draw a really cute rabbit Little eyes. Cute little rabbit. -y. All right. It's okay. I don't know. It's a okay rabbit. Let's see. The face. The face in the... Here, I'll get rid of this one and see if I can make a new face. It'll probably be much better even. Sometimes I look at it when I'm drawing and sometimes I don't. Still not connected. Okay, well this is a, a rabbit in which you can become. And maybe I even like that better. Yeah. Ta-da! Okay, if that works for me, I'm going to take a... a uh, photo of how I turned into a rabbit. I'll move. Yeah. Ooh, and maybe I'll bring up the swarm of bees. 
Yes. Here we go. All right. Here we are. This is about as authentic in the moment as it got. Except for these were like way all over. There were a lot more. It's not why I paint bees. It's just one of the many stories that have been part of it. Part of my narrative. Have you ever turned into another animal or felt like you had some amazing weird coping experience in a stressful situation that gave you, um, that solved the problem or gave you more resiliency? Let me know about it. I once turned into a rabbit and hopped away from a zillion bees as they were swarming all over the ground in the air. And I was glad that I had the open-mindedness and the resiliency to think outside of myself and survive the bad situation. Yay! That lets me know that I can do other good things and survive more things and be more resilient so thank you bees for not stinging me i love you and thank you rabbit for being my protector i'm going to share this with friends